In this week's Torah portion in the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, we find the verses relating to the entire cycle of the appointed festivals of God, the Hebrew calendar. And we've always emphasized that the experience of keeping the festivals is really a rendezvous with some higher level of destiny. We read in these verses, And the Lord spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, The feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy gatherings, these are my feasts. And later again in verse 4, These are the feasts of the Lord, holy gatherings, which you shall proclaim in their seasons. And we have here in chapter 23, the commandments relating to all of the major festivals. You know, in Hebrew, these words which we are here translating as, you shall proclaim to be holy, ga holy gatherings, we can actually translate it a little bit differently. And they actually can also be understood to read that these days themselves, asher tikru otam mikra'e kodesh, that these days themselves actually call out holiness. They themselves proclaim holiness. There is something inherent, the nature, the character of these days, they reverberate the challenge of holiness. And indeed, the whole idea that's being expressed by this rendezvous with destiny, the challenge to keep the divinely appointed seasons of God for both Jew and Gentile is really to rise above the mundane cycle of life and to latch on to this inherent potential in these days which literally proclaim and call out and challenge us to live a holy life. And there's something about the cycle of the seasons and keeping the festivals to whatever degree that enables us and empowers us to be able to connect with a holier side of life, days that literally proclaim holiness.